Hello, it's Richard Bauer here, Yamaha Brand Ambassador at Rimmers Music in Edinburgh. In this third and final video about piano room on your CVP Clavinova, we're going to look at the extra features that you may want to explore. These features are generally found at the, towards the bottom of the screen and we'll take a look at all of those on this video. The first function is on the bottom left hand side of the screen and that's the recording function. It's a very easy procedure to record yourself playing within Piano Room on CVP Clavinova. Simply press the red circle, that will start the recording facility, and you'll see as a confirmation that the circle actually turns into a square and starts to flash. That's an indication that it's ready to record and simply start to play. At the end of your masterpiece, press the square button again. At this point, a pop-up window appears asking if you'd like to save your recording. Tap yes, and that recording will be saved. Of course, once you've made your recording, you'll want to listen to it back. So at the bottom of the screen, touch the song icon and tap the song that you'd like to listen to from the left hand side of the screen. To listen to that song, tap the triangle icon which is play and you'll hear your song playback. To stop playback, tap the square icon and the playback will stop. Now as you can see on the screen, the songs are actually named in numerical order in the order that you've recorded them in. Um, but obviously as you make more and more recordings, um, you'll, you'll want to name them properly so that you know what song is where. Renaming your songs is an easy job. Simply select the song that you'd wish to rename and tap the rename icon towards the bottom of the screen. This opens up a pop-up window which is a QWERTY keyboard, just the same as you would have on your mobile phone or your tablet device. To clear the numerical name of the song, tap and hold the delete button in the top right hand corner of the screen. This won't delete your song, it will simply clear the name so you can put your own preferred name into the song title. Type in the song title in exactly the same way that you would do on your phone or your tablet device. In this case, I'm just going to call this test. Once you're happy with the name, tap OK. And you'll see the new name appear on the screen. To delete a song, simply choose the song that you wish to delete and tap the delete icon at the bottom of the screen. It's very appropriately shaped like a bin. <laughs> 
The metronome facility is towards the bottom right hand side of the screen and replicates the old fashioned tick tock tick tock tick tock metronome that you may remember from playing piano as a kid. When you tap the metronome icon you'll notice a number of options come up on the screen. First of all the button on the left turns the metronome on or off. You'll notice a tempo indication on the screen and an arrow either side of it. Those arrows will slow the speed down or turn the speed up and that's for fine adjustment. If you want to speed the, the metronome up much more or slow it down by a greater margin you can always use the data wheel that's on the panel towards your right hand side of your Clavinova screen. You also have a facility for tap tempo. That allows you simply to tap the button four times and when you tap, 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 the metronome then will come in at the speed that you've tapped. It's a really useful thing if you're not quite sure numerically what speed you want. The settings icon can be found towards the bottom right hand side of the screen. This allows you to change various parameters of the piano sound within Piano Room. The first of these is environment. Now we took a look at the change in the environment in video one and I would recommend that we go back to looking at that particular video and use that method that we use to change the environments from maybe concert hall to cathedral or to a stage in a, in a, in a club, in a nightclub. Um, the way that we looked at it in video one actually is much more graphic. Um, you, can, you can really see what's going on. So use that method rather than using the settings in this case. Same goes for the lid position. Uh, the lid position of the piano can be moved, obviously, if it's a grand piano, and you can do that within settings. However, you can also do it just simply in, in the main screen on Piano Room by just sliding your finger up and down the lid, and that, again, graphically works better. You can change the tuning of the piano, um, but obviously I, I would recommend that you keep it at, at the preset, which is 440 hertz. The only time that you'd really need to change this is, let's say, for example, if you were trying to play along with an audio track um, and that audio track is out of tune. So you would, you would change the pitch of the piano. Um, so if you really want to go down that route, you can do so. But in the main, keep that tuning at 440 hertz. This last video in Piano Room concludes our look at the Piano Room facility within CVP Clavinova. There's lots more videos to come about this wonderful instrument and we'll be posting those up very soon. In the meanwhile, enjoy your music. We'll see you soon.